I'm just going to start with a brief review, as we always do, a brief summary. So, last week, we would have looked at, well, week before, because last week we did an activity. Um, so, la week before, we would have looked at el empleo y el desempleo. And we said that el empleo es el estado de hacer obra pagada, mientras el desempleo es un término que se refiere al opuesto. You know what that means? Yeah, um, employment mm -hmm. is, a, is a state that of doing work, paid work, mm -hmm. while this employ um, unemployment mm -hmm. is a end that refers to, or no, so the end that refers to. Okay, termino with the accent. Termino is term. Okay. So you know how we have phrases, mm -hmm. or words, or terms. In termino is a term, and it is a uh, term that refers to the opposite, meaning when you are not engaged in work. Okay, so we look uh, at some of the causes of um, el empleo. Sorry, the causes of el desempleo. So we spoke about los avances técnicos because you remember why? Why um, technological advances? could cause el desempleo? Yeah, because the machines replacing the humans. Okay, very good. Um, también la, la sobrepoblación. ¿Puedes recordar lo que es la sobrepoblación? Sí, es overpopulation. Uh -huh. um, ¿Qué es el concepto? El concepto de sobrepoblación. Sí. sí. <laughs> ¿Qué es? Uh, uh, es una conce un concepto de hay muchísimas personas en, en, en un país mm -hmm. que, que, y no tengo recurso, recursos suficientes para ellos. Ok, so, um, tengo es the first person singular. So, and I don't have enough record, um, resources. I know that's not what you mean to say. So, you wouldn't say tengo. What would you use instead of tengo? What conjugation of tenure would you use instead of tengo? Tiene. Very good. You know, tiene. There, there, there is not. You could also say no hay. Um, I think there was something else earlier up in the sentence. But I cannot remember what it was. But yes, la sobrepoblación es una situación en que um, hay, una, hay un aumento en la población de un país sin el mismo en los recursos disponibles. Okay? So, so um, overpopulation would happen where there's an increase in the population, but there's not an increase or not the same, meaning the increase in the amount of available resources. And then we also spoke about la falta de educación u orientación. Do you know why U is there instead of O? Porque, um, because the word have a vowel. Not just a vowel, orientación begins with the letter O. So you can't say, oh. you can't have educa educación o orientación. If the word begins with O or the O sound, then you would have U instead of O. So, um, a lack of education or guidance. And then we also spoke about what unemployment affects. I want you to not do that. What are the three, where, what are the three areas? ¿Cuáles son los tres áreas? Las tres áreas. Sí, ¿cuáles son las tres áreas en que, puedo, en que puedes ver un efecto del desempleo? El, la economía. Uh -huh. ¿Qué más? Uh, la familia. No, la familia en la sociedad y en el individuo. Sí. So, these are the three areas that we look at. The impact that unemployment has in the, in, on the individual, because obviously you need money to live. Se necesita dinero para vivir. And without money, your, your quality of life will diminish. It will decrease. And then we also spoke about the impact on society because la pobreza puede provocar un aumento en el crimen. I said that 
um, poverty, which would be the end result of not having a job, um, it can cause an increase in crime. And then, of course, the effect on the economy, because el gobierno depende en los opuestos, which is the taxes of la clase laboral para fundar la asistencia social. So government depends on the taxes of the labor force in order to fund welfare. Remember, la asistencia social is welfare. Good? You covered? I'm covered. All right, there you go. You might a bit low, so if you get no. Um, if you know what's causing that, just let me know. Okay, so, la agenda de hoy. Los roles de los medios de comunicación. ¿Qué es un medio de comunicación? ¿Puedes leerlo, por favor? Vale. ¿Qué es un medio de comunicación? Los medios de comunicación son todas, la, todas las técnicas utilizadas para diseminar, guarda, guardar y, y intercambiar información. También se, llama, se llaman los medios de comunicación masivas. Ellos son la prensa escrita, la edición de libros, la radiodifusión, el cine, la televisión, el internet, la multimedia, no, la mu multimedia. Uh -huh y los redes sociales. Yes, las redes. Good. So, do you understand anything of what you just read? Yeah. Tell me. So, like a medium of communication are all the techniques used to disseminate or keep and interchange information or exchange, exchange information mm -hmm. and they are called medias of communication they're also called remember también is also so they're also called mass media. Also, oh, um, okay. los medios de comunicación masivas um, that is mass media los medios de comunicación is just Media, yes, just this is media. No, um, there are eight main types of there are eight main types of um media. There's another word for it. not social, social, not not social media because los redes sociales is specifically social media. I think it is um. Oh gosh, why is it slipping me? Let's just call it media. It's media, but it's another term that we usually use for it. So anyway, there is la prensa escrita, which is press, which is written, like newspapers, that kind of stuff. There's la edición de libros. Can you guess what um, edición is? Edición? Well, in this context, the publishing of books. La edición oh. de libros. Um, we also have la, re la radio difusión, mm -hmm. which is like radio. <laughs> Why the radio? Um, have el cine, which is cinema. Um, la televisión, TV through advertisements. Um, el internet and the internet, which facilitates some of the medias of communication. Um, la multimedia, so like um, music, film. Well, film was kind of included in cine, but yeah. And las redes sociales. Las redes sociales es el medio de comunicación más popular. Okay? So, some vocabulary, no. No. Um, so this is this this vocabulary is related to social media, but it's also related to mass media in general. 
because terms like publicity, marketing, um, customers, consumers, those are all related to a business who might use the newspaper, who might use um, an ad on TV, uh, ad on the radio in order to get the message about their new product or their new store or their new outlet or whatever, right? So um, this is media, this is um, vocabulary, it's a vocabulary that relates to both los medios de comunicación los y los re, las redes sociales específicamente, ¿vale? So, first of all, el adepto o el seguido is a follower. So, when you look online, on Instagram, like, if you, somebody has, like, 5,000 followers, you would call those seguidos or adeptos. ¿Vale? And we also have los compradores, which is buyers specifically. And then we have los consumidores, which is consumers. So buyers can also be, cons buyers are consumers. Right? But there's two different words that are used. The same way we use two different words in English. We have los clientes, clients, of course. La difusión y la diseminación. Um, they can be used kind of interchangeably, even though they have two different meanings, broadcasting and dissemination, in the same way that we interchange las mismas palabras in English. Because sometimes if we talk in English about broadcasting and dissemination of information, we might use them interchangeably, but you might just change the way you structure the sentence. So same thing in Spanish. So um, you could say la difusión de un anuncio o la diseminación de un anuncio. Un anuncio is right here, yeah. like publicity or marketing. Um, when we get there, I'm going to tell you another word that that can also mean. Um, we have la violencia. Violence That's one of those words that um, tells you what it is from what it sounds like in Spanish. We also have la inmoralidad, immorality. Um, la publicidad. Yeah. I think this is the wrong place. Sorry. <laughs> la publicidad or el mer move. Right. La publicidad o el mercadero. El mercadeo. Mercadeo, sí. That is publicity or marketing. Wait, wait, wait. This is related to both these two. La publicidad, publicity, el mercadeo, marketing. So I was correct. Anuncio is ad. Anuncio is like an advertisement. Okay. Or, um, yeah, the best word to use is advertisement. El anuncio, an advertisement. Um, we also have la pantalla, which is a screen, the laptop. This can relate to a laptop screen, um, the television screen, the phone screen, pantalla screen. Um, persuadir or convincer, those are the two words that we use to say persuade or convince. And majority of the times that is, ellos son los retos. Those are two of the goals that un negocio puede tener. That's the goals that a company would have. Because that's the whole reason why you're putting out an ad. Because you want to persuade people to come to your store or to buy your product. Okay? And then we have deprimido, which means depressed. This can be deprimida as well. Depressed, the feminine. Los adolescentes, adolescents, that was kind of given away. Um, la privacidad. Privacy, as you can see, some of them are like you can guess what they are. Um, el influenciador, influenciador, influencer. So influencer followers those go together in terms of social media. But I have subir, which means to upload. Subir can also mean to go up, to just simply go up. But it depends on the context, of course. Um, los comentarios, comments. El ciberacoso is cyberbullying, but you can also say, and look, I can't spell today, though. But you can also just call it el ciberbullying. 
be back up, right? El cyber bullying, el cyber bullying, but um, el cyber acoso is the word for bullying, cyber bullying specifically. And then we have la imagen corporal, body image, and of course, fomentar or promover. You hear me use it sometimes, means to promote. Okay, so this could be promote in the in the context of like to encourage. So if you want to promote healthy lifestyles, okay, promover, oh my goodness, promover los estilos de vida sanos, vale, 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 vale. Okay, um, you can take the screenshot if you want to. Okay. So you think books and the rest, you know, you go out and really want to tell the rest. Okay, so another word that um, could mean anuncio, that was just not coming to me, is announcement. So you can have advertisement or announcement. So you can make note of that. Pick a bubble and cry. Wait, 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 act? <laughs> if we can bubble and cry, if we can go on. Oh, okay. Yeah, no problem. You never hear that? Oh, first thing I hear that. Huh? I think that's a BJ thing. That would be a BJ thing. All right. Yeah, so bro. we have a short activity. I want you, it's two questions, but I want you in the next 503. How much time do you think you want to answer these questions? I need to answer. Pardon? How much time I need to answer? Yeah, how much time do you think you need? About five minutes. About, not all that. No, okay, okay. <laughs> so about three minutes. Yeah, that's good. All right. So I want you to tell me qué medio de comunicación piensas que es el más eficaz y por qué. So what? Um, this term needs to come to me. What media do you think is most efficient and why? And then I want you to tell me. What are some of the social media platforms that you know, that you have, or that you use? I'm only saying media. Media, sorry. So, like, medio de comunicación is just media. I don't know why I'm thinking there's another term. Anyways, I have three minutes. I'm going to shut my window so you may not wet my bed. Estás listo? Estoy listo. Perdón. Sí, estoy listo. Very good. So, the first question. ¿Qué medio de comunicación piensas que es el más eficaz y por qué? Vale. En mi opinión, uh -huh. el, el, el medio, la medio de comunicación. El medio. El medio de comunicación más eficaz es la noticia o, o 
los anuncios, los porque, anuncios. ¿Vale? porque hay mucha gente que usa esta forma de tecnología hoy en día. Vale. So, um, you said los anuncios, pero los anuncios refieren a advertising and announcements en todas las en todas las plataformas. Um, puede ser en um, Perdón, let me see. Let's see. Now remember, el anuncio, advertisement, is done in todos los medios de comunicación. You can do, um, you can have an announcement um, en la radio. Puedes tener un anuncio en el internet, en una página de web, en un sitio de web, puede tener um, un anuncio en la televisión, um, like an actual advertisement, with the product and catchphrase and the slogan and everything, el eslogan, everything like that. You can have an announcement on en las redes sociales, en Instagram, por ejemplo, puede tener una página For, the, um, for un negocio, una empresa, un producto, un servicio. So, it, vale, vale. you understand what I'm saying? Right. So, it's one of these here that I want you to choose. Si, quier, si quieres um, diseminar un anuncio, si tienes un anuncio para diseminar, ¿qué medio de comunicación What 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 am I trying to ask? Right, what media from this list would you use? Las redes sociales. Vale, las redes sociales. Entonces, piensas que las redes sociales son lo más las más las más Pero eficaces, más. right? Sí. ¿Por qué? Porque hay mucha gente. La mayoría de la gente uh -huh. usa, usa los redes sociales hoy en día. Thank uh -huh. you. Ok, so, in that same train of thought, ¿qué son algunos de los redes sociales que sabes, tienes o usas? Dígame. Personalmente, usa, uso Instagram. Instagram? Does it want to use the most? Uh, no. WhatsApp, tal no. vez. No sé. <laughs> También. Igualmente. Sorry, my, my cousin was calling me. I'm not sure what she wants, but I'll call her back when we're done. Good. So. Podemos ver algunos, algunas de las ventajas de... Um, we're going to focus specifically on social media. Now, remember, social media is just one of the types of media of, media of communication. It's just one of the types of them, okay? It's not the only one. Oftentimes, people confuse the two and think that their the terms are interchangeable, but that's not the case, okay? So, la primera ventaja... Um, las redes sociales permiten el intercambio de información. Información. Um, tell me the read the first one for me and tell me what it means. Vale. Es posible diseminar información a mucha gente en poco tiempo. Mm -hmm. En el caso de un des desastre nat natural, mm -hmm. la gente tiene previ previo Avisos. Mm -hmm. So tell me. So it is possible to disin disseminate information to a lot of people in a little bit of time. Yes. In the case of a dis natural disaster, the people have uh, the people have preview aviso. They have access. Advance warning. Oh, advance yes. warning. Okay. 
previo aviso as a, um, a set term. As far as I know, that's a set term. Who is that that just joined? What, they leave one time? I don't know. If <laughs> a mistake. Okay. Okay. So, that's very good. So, it is, it is possible to disseminate information of a lot of people in a little bit of time. And in the case of a natural disaster, if a natural disaster is happening in one part of the Caribbean, it's easy for everybody else in the Caribbean to know about it and be prepared. But the same token, if say we have an hurricane which is coming across the um coming across the Atlantic um, off the coast of West Africa, we can have advance notice of it. Okay, so good. Um, los negocios pueden pueden Los negocios pueden aumentar la conciencia de un producto nuevo o servicio mucho más fácil. Okay? So businesses can increase the awareness amongst the public of a new product or a new service much easier much easier. So, um, in el pasado, si una persona tiene un nuevo producto, um, oftentimes, you will have to depend on word of mouth in order for people to know about your product. But with social media, you can take a picture, you can post it one place, and miles, um, maybe even millones de personas tienen acceso a su producto. Okay, so as another very good advantage. Um, can you read the next one for me? Crean una válvula de escape. Válvula. Mm-hmm. Válvula escape para la creatividad. Los medios de comunicación crean una plataforma en que la gente puede escribir de sus experiencias sus sentimientos y de asuntos sociales. Okay, but tell me what it means. So, the, oh, the first line. Mm-hmm. Tell me what you think that is. Um, ac- I think I had a sentence that I eh? mm-hmm. uh, is a, 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 a space, <laughs> kind of space to escape to so, like, so, um, yeah. Honestly, when I was looking, I wanted, I, I saw another word for, it means outlet. I saw another word um, that has the same meaning as outlet. But I said, man, that ain't really giving me the, the sauce that I want. Una valvula de escante. Yeah. yeah. It's an outlet for creativity. Go ahead. Right, so the, the media creative platform where or in which the people can write about their experiences, their feelings and so and be so and be social. Asuntos social. Que es un asunto. Asunto. Point. Mm-mm. Opinion. Problems. Problems. Oh, problem. Yes. Social issues. Okay? Very good. So that's very true. Through social media people can post about how they feel. They can write with it um they can write about experiences they had, like trips that they would have had, etc. And it just gives them a space in where they can be creative and express themselves freely. And the last one, I'm going to read the last one. Um, rompen las barreras de espacio y el tiempo. So, um, las redes sociales facilitan comunicación desde cualquier sitio del mundo. Con los medios de comunicación, puedes hablar con una persona en el otro lado del mundo con el clic de un botón. ¿Qué significa esta oración? Well, those two sentences. So, it breaks the barrier of space and time. Very good. And it facilitates communi- communication since... To... To... Each, uh, every what? site in the world. From. From every Disney? site in the from, world. From any place in the world. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. With the media, you can, well, you can talk with a person on the other side of the 
world mm -hmm. with a click of a button. Yes, with the click of a button. Very good. So that's those are three broad, very broad advantages which social media has. And then we also have last thing. Uh -huh. I hear two people join. Yeah. Hi. Y'all are early. We are missing when this class starts. Pardon? What time does this class start, Miss? Started 5 o'clock, Miss. 5 30? Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. Uh, 1 30? 4 30. Oh, sorry about that. Some my bad, Miss. You see, no night. Um, Problem. yeah, I was at school and, the, and I was in another class. That's not right. It does make sense, Miss, but trust. That's no problem. All right, so we're going to continue with las desventajas de los, las medias sociales. Los, las redes sociales, because remember, we said we're focusing especially on social media, which is one of the eight main types of media. Okay, so mucha gente son adictas. Um, Demarcus, I think that was your name. Can you read for me? Miss Rory. Right here on this on this great page. Oh my goodness. On this page right here, you're gonna read from Alguna. Um, for some reason I can't click on it, miss. Pardon me? For some reason I can't click on it, miss. You don't have hold to on, click hold on. on it. Can you see my screen? Hold on, miss. It's uh loading. Okay, miss. So where where are we? Alguna gente. This first part that's in Maroon. Oh, with the, wait, with a G? Oh, alguna gente pasa mucho tiempo en los medios de comunicación, especialmente las red, red, redes, redes sociales, estas opas, opusas, largas, la, wait, tienes, Efectos adversos fisi fisi comante mente e mental mente. Okay, so um, remember that the way we pronounce words in English is not the same that we will pronounce words in Spanish. So, alguna gente, gente, not gente, alguna gente pasa tiempo, pasa mucho tiempo. En los medios de comunicación. C-I-O-N. C-I-O with the accent N. Sion. Comunicación. Especialmente. Especialmente las redes sociales. Um, this word here is épocas. Épocas. It means period. As in like period of time. A period of time. That's not what I'm going But, um... Estas épocas largas, largas, tienen afectos adversos físicamente y mentalmente. Remember, the stress on the word goes where the accent on the word is. Okay. Just had to plug in my laptop. So, no, the next part. Oh, right, so let's go into this one. Many people... What did I do? Pardon? How did I do? You're reading? It was okay. We still need to work on your pronunciation. Okay? Okay, miss. Yes, yes miss. So, um, por ejemplo, el imagen corporal y la autoestima baja. So, this part is basically saying that a lot of people spend a lot of time on social media, especially. And over a long period of time, it can have adverse effects, both physically and mentally. A lot of people scroll through Instagram and they see uh, pictures of these pretty, 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 pretty girls with the coat bottle shape and these guys with the big muscles and everything. And if you don't have a strong mind, it can really affect the way you see yourself, el imagen corporal and your self-esteem and it can lead to la autoestima baja which is low self-esteem now the next point algunas personas se usan para cometer delitos delitos um who is the other person that came in can you read for me please 
Miss from the um the second red block? Yes, please. Okay. Mucha gente emplea mal en internet para cometer delitos como el fraud. El ciberasco. Oh, what? Oh, oh, oh. Ciberacoso. Ciberacoso. Mm -hmm. La extorsión. La pi piratería informática y mucho más. Entonces, es muy importante proteger su información personal en el internet. Vale. That was, that was okay. There were a few words that you missed up on. Uh, mixed. Messed. <laughs> there were a few words that you messed up on, but it was pretty good. Um, Call this word for me. Can you see my cursor? Call this word for me. Fraud. Fraude. Oh, fraude. Fraude. Oh, my bad, miss. No problem. Um, I saw you corrected yourself here for ciberacoso. El ciberacoso. That was very good. Um, you also pronounced pirateria, informatica. You pronounced that very well. Um, okay. So, a lot of people misuse the internet. So, emplear mal is a set phrase meaning misuse. Emplear mal. So, that is E-M-P-L-E-A-R mal. That is the set phrase to mean misuse. So a lot of people misuse the internet to con to commit crimes such as fraud, cyberbullying. El ciberacoso is cyberbullying. Um, and I was telling Alex earlier, I believe that el ciberbullying is becoming a word that is used in Spanish language, even though it's an English word. So um, el ciberacoso is just cyberbullying. La extorsión is blackmail so you can write that down like extortion is blackmail they're using the internet to commit black um to blackmail people um as well as hacking la pirate la pirateria informatica is hacking okay and a lot of a lot of other things so um so this is why it's very important to protect your information your personal information on the internet does anybody remember, and if you can remember anything about the subjunctive, right? Remember that es muy importante is one of the phrases, one of the impersonal expressions. But why is proteger in the infinitive instead of being even in the, um, the, instead of being in the subjunctive? Why? Mr. Context. Well, not really. Why else would it not? Be? Oh, okay, miss. <laughs> You're not wrong. Miss, I'm cheating and I still got that wrong. You're cheating and I still... Wow. <laughs> Shit, my head. But tell me, though, what's the reason? Yeah. Que falta? What is I think is. I think it's because, like, you kind of, you know, we give an advice. It's saying, like, it's very important to protect your information. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What what are the three things that we said there has to be when you're doing this? It's three things. Yes, it's three things. It's not four. Tell me what you can remember. What are the things that we need in order to trigger the subjunctive? Uh, on, let me cheat. Let you cheat. Where were the? You need one of the weirdos. Which would be the wishes, impersonal expressions, emotions. Um, what's the R? 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 Mm -hmm. Request. Oh my gosh. Request, doubt, and ojala. Ojala. Right? You need one of the weirdos. You also need the trigger word K. You need K. And then there needs to be a change in subject. You can have two of the three, you can have one of the three, but if you do not have all three, it is not going to trigger the subjunctive, okay? So that's why we do not use the subjunctive here when we say it's muy importante proteger, okay? There's no K and there's no change in subject, okay? Well, there's a change in subject, but there's no K. So, that's another reason. So, um, this one is basically saying that a lot of people misuse the internet to commit crimes like fraud, 
um, cyberbullying, blackmail, hacking, and a lot of other things. And that is why it is so important to protect personal information on the internet. And lastly, one of the biggest disadvantages is that nada desaparece. Does anybody know what that means? Nothing disappears. Nothing disappears. I'll read this last one because I think we're running short for time. Yeah. Um, cuando, why is there no accent in cuando? That's not a question. Exactly. Cuando without the accent is just when, if you start in a sentence and it's not a question. But with a question, you have to have the accent on the A. So, cuando sube algo en el internet o publica un libro o periódico, cualquiera en el mundo tiene acceso a esta información. Y cuando presiona enviar, es casi imposible borrar lo que, ha, lo que ya se ha enviado al mundo. Does anybody know what that means? Which one is? The last thing that started with cuando. When you upload something on the internet mm -hmm. or publish a mm -hmm. book or journal, newspaper, mm -hmm. newspaper, mm -hmm. in which, oh, no, whichever place in the world have anywhere in the world have access anyone, to that information, anyone, oh. cualquier lugar. Is any place. Let me check that. Cualquier lugar, as far as I know, is any place. But cualquiera for sure is anyone. But go ahead. Uh, oh, okay. So anyone have access, everyone in the world have access, anyone in the world have access to that information. And when, you know, when someone sends, it almost when you're pressing, yes. it is almost impossible to delete or that or erase it, that which already have been sent to the world. Very good. So um anywhere is in cualquier sitio or a cualquier parte. In cualquier sitio or a cualquier parte. Cualquier parte. So cualquiera is anyone. So that is very true. When you upload something to the internet or you publish a book or you publish a newspaper or you send out something on the radio. Well, the radio is not as... Hmm, or you send out something on the radio or um, anything like that. Anybody in the world has access to that information. And one of the reasons for that is because as long as you press send, as long as you send something out into the world, it's almost impossible to retrieve it. That is why some, um, why some people's lives at, at 50 something and 60 something, their lives can be ruined or they could get what we young people just call no cancel because it's something that they would have done 20 years ago. Like some racist comment that they made or whatever. And that is because with the internet, nothing disappears. Even if you post something and you delete it, Guarantee you, somebody had a chance to screenshot it. It's saved somewhere in some database. That's why it's so important that you be careful what you put on the internet.